Hi everyone, it's Leah here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing today. In today's video, we are going to be talking about 12 mats that are suitable for beginners to farm Spina. And this is going to be part two of my original Spina video where I gave you guys mats and I listed out the prices and locations of each item. So if you're excited for this video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you are indeed new to my channel or if you are not already subscribed, it would mean so much to me if you could go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Only about 27% of my viewers are subscribed, so it would mean so much to me if a couple more of you would subscribe if you do enjoy my content. So without further ado, let's get started! So for this video, I'm going to be listing 12 mats in order of cheapest first and most expensive at the end, and starting off with, we will be going over Birdwing, Red Purple Gelatin, Flower Nectar, Bloody Scarf, Energy Bottle, Spiritual Gemstone, Snow Crystal, Strange Toolbox, Evil Spirit Claw, Hard Scissor, Dirty Antique, and Dirty Nail. And for each one of these, I will go ahead and tell you the price per stack, the monster, level of the monster, location, and use. So, without further ado, let's get started with Birdwing. And just a really quick side note, I wanted to let you guys know that I indeed created a PDF with all 12 items, the price per stack, monster, level, location, and use, and I linked that down below in the description box, so if you are curious, all of the items and all of the information are listed down below. First off, we have Birdwing, and Birdwing is 7k per stack, monster is beak, level of the monster is 19, location is ruined temple town area 2, and the use is adventures garb 35 pieces and beast mats. And as you can see, indeed I am actually at ruined temple town area 2, and you can see level 9 beak, so this is what you're going to attack for Birdwing. And as you can see, this is the drop info for level 19 beak. Alrighty, next up we have Red Purple Gelatin. Price per stock is 7.5k. The level is 110. Location is Ultimia Sewer, Southeast. And the use is it recovers 30 MP every 10 seconds for one minute, and it is used as medicine mats. And here's the drop info for Grape Jelly. Next up we have Kijimu, which is Flower Nectar, and Flower Nectar goes for 9k per stack. Monster is Kijimu, level is 10, location is Athema Ruins, and use is Revito 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as well as Medic Coat. And here's the drop information. And next up we are headed to Cradle of Soldier for Bloody Scarf. If you don't know where Cradle of Soldier is, you just go to Garden of Beginning and then you can trace through Dark Mirror, Trace of Dark River, and then you end up at Cradle of Soldiers. So again, this mat is called Bloody Scarf. The price per stack is 33k. Monster is Flying Executioner, which is level 89. Location is Cradle of Soldier Entrance, and the use is for Assassin Mask, Assassin Garb, and Assassin Scarf. And here's the drop information. Next up we have Energy Bottle, which is at Psychia Deep Valley, which is right next to Polygirl Landfill, so that is indeed the fastest way to get to Polygirl Landfill. Alrighty, so again, the mat is Energy Bottle, price per stack is 36k, monster is Mech Little Boar, level 99, location is Psychia Deep Valley, and the use is for 4000 HP recovery. And here is the drop information. And next up we have Spiritual Gemstone, which is inside Ancient Empress Tomb Area 2, and I will go ahead and show you how to navigate Ancient Empress Tomb if you are indeed a new player and don't know how to navigate. So first we are going to go ahead and make a right turn. We're going to follow this path all the way down, run up these stairs. Then these stairs are going to take us to another hallway which wraps around. And then from here we are going to make the first left hand turn and go straight and kind of follow this area around to the right. And then we're going to go ahead and make a quick left and a quick right. And then we are going to go ahead and end up at Ancient Empress Tomb Area 2. And for Cassie, which is the mob, we are just going to head straight down. Ignore that staircase to the right and just go straight. And then there's Cassie's right in this area right here, as well as two areas on the left-hand side and right-hand side. So again, this item is Spiritual Gemstone, the price is 45k per stack, and 
the level is 48 for the mob. The mob is Cassie, which is located in Ancient Emperor's Tomb Area 2. And the uses are for mana, mainly, and also for the main quest, it is a quest item material. And here, indeed, is the drop information for Cassie. Next up, we have Snow Crystal, and Snow Crystal is actually at Fort Sulfini, as you can see here. So the closest way to get to Fort Sulfini is from Einklang. And one thing to mention is that the main place where you actually would farm this is at Finpen, level 72, which is actually in the Christmas event venue area. So for that reason, it's not Christmas time right now, so I'm showing you the alternative, which is Fort Sulfini Wall and Frosty, which is level 79, and this is where you farm Snow Crystal. But again, the main area is actually going to be Navida City, which is for the Christmas event, but today I'm going to be showing you the main normal place to farm it. Alrighty, so again, this item is Snow Crystal, the price is 52k per stack, and the mob is Frosty, level 79, which is located in Fort Sulfini Wall and Fort Sulfini Outside, and the use is Earmuff, Pom Pom Hat, Ice Tile, and Ice Wall. And indeed, this is the drop information. Next up, we have Strange Toolbox, which is at Huge Krista Factory, and if you don't know where that is, again, it's actually quite close to Fort Sulfini, and your closest bet is going to be running from Einklang all the way to Huge Krista Factory. So again, this item is called Strange Toolbox, the price is 100k per stack, and the mob is called Crafted Golem Level 102, which is located in Huge Krista Factory First Floor. And this is actually used as a random gotcha box, which has the potential to drop Phalanx Slotted Armor. And this actually has some stats that are desirable for some players, so this is a random gotcha box that some people buy in order to get this rare drop. And as you can see, these are the drop information. And next up we have Evil Spirit Claw, which is 145k per stack. The mob is Phobos, which are level 77 and can be found in Lunagent Mountain Area 2. And this is used for Blitz Sword, 20 pieces, and Tri Claws, 20 pieces. And the best farming spot for this is, as you can see behind me, directly behind my character, that is actually Area 3. So the best spot is super close to Area 3 because there is a lot higher density of Phobos in this area. And here's the drop information. And now for this next map, which is called Hard Scissor. This is actually part of the Face of Adventure quest, which gives 98k XP per 45 pieces of Hard Scissor. It is worth 204k, and it is dropped by Metal Stinger mini bosses, which are in Akaku Desert Area 1 and Level 82. And this is actually where you go ahead and pick up that Face of Adventure quest. So you go to Alscaro. You go to this guy right here, you click on quest, and it's actually going to be the face of adventure quest. As you can see, I'm picking it up right now. And you click OK. And then it says collect hard scissor, collect scorpion tail, and hard scissor is that first one on the list. And again, to reiterate, this item is called hard scissor, and the price is 204k per stack. The boss is going to be a mini boss called Metal Stinger, which is level 82 and can be found in Akaku Desert Area 1, and it is used for a Face of Adventure quest, which gives 98k XP per 45 pieces of hard scissor. And as you can see right next to me, there is a Metal Stinger. This is the boss information. And next up, we have Dirty Antique, which is 290k per stack, and it is dropped by Cursed Clock, which is level 71, and can be found in Magic Waste Site Area 2, and this is used for Time Warp Watch, which actually is, again, a gotcha box that has the potential to drop a Talisman, which has 1k attack speed, so that is why it is actually very useful, and a lot of people actually buy these to try to get that 1k attack speed ring. And here is the drop information. And last but certainly not least, we have Dirty Nail, which is dropped by Torpos, level 7, in Land Under Development. The price per stack is 370k, and these are used to craft bow guns, and 5 pieces are required. And here's the drop information for Torpo. 
Alrighty everyone, that concludes the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching, it means so much to me. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope it was useful. Just a reminder again, I have linked a PDF down below of the actual list of all the 12 mats, where to find them, the price per stack, and all of the other information that you will need to farm these items. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. And it means so much to me that you watched. I hope you have a lovely day and thank you again so much for watching. Please take care. Bye bye now.